So how are Ukrainians in the diaspora helping their countrymen and women back home? Well, to discuss, I'm very pleased to be joined now by Nikita Kravtsov. He's a Ukrainian painter and he's an organiser of the Support Ukraine movement here in France. Hello to you. Hello. And thank you for finding the time to come and talk to us right thank now. Thank you for the invitation. Here on France yeah. 24. Just tell us a little bit, first of all, about what it is that you've been doing and your community in the Support Ukraine movement since the war broke out. Uh, but first of all, uh, uh, everybody hear me good? We hear no. you well. Okay, well, first of all, for Ukraine, war starts eight years ago. And uh, from all these eight years, we're trying to put some attention of Europe to, to this uh, war. It was a war because um, Russia takes a part of territories of our country. And, um, but in Europe, you speak like about the conflict or civil war, but it was not a civil war. It was really like somebody will take the part of Alsace or I don't know, or somebody will take Corsica. Sure, for yeah. you, the conflict has been going on for a yeah, very long time, but clearly and, um, things have got more serious now. But so now what, it's arrived, yeah, very straight. And, and what's your reaction now? been? I mean, seeing those images starting last Thursday of Ukrainian all, cities nobody, coming under attack. Everybody was very surprised mm. because it was unexpected things, but everybody kind of also expected these things mm. because when on your border moved uh, the war technique military techniques so it's um, it's a reason to be a little bit stressed and uh, like to wait in something and i will tell you even more that in the day one day before this invasion uh, i normally i have a show in odessa national art museum mm -hmm. And um, I all the time calling with director, we speaking because they uh, pack uh, pack the works uh, to um, to put it to more safe place, mm. like in west of Ukraine. Uh, is that work now safe? The works, uh, the paintings, yes. uh, kind of safe because uh, nothing now is in safe because uh, we all the time asking from from the world just uh, to give us a chance just to cover our sky. And that's why I also wanted to ask one more time here that we really need to cover the sky because bombs falling in the cities. It's falling on the on the hospitals, on the children's houses and um, yeah. like, yeah. Your message is heard loud and clear, but we've partly brought you on today because you're an artist, artist you're, a, yeah. you're a painter, and you've been working here with the Support Ukraine movement. Show us a little bit of what it is that you've produced and you wanted to show our viewers. Yeah, I, first of all, it starts like from this uh, book uh, that we uh, write uh, with Andrei Kurkov and uh, these books was uh, published from very small tirage. Uh, tirage was just 300 exemplars. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, mostly for diplomats, for journalists, uh, uh, for the people who can uh, clear what's, what's the their story. The, the, message, the message is a little story. We write the children's book for adults. And it's a story about um, the peaceful mushrooms and mm -hmm. uh, the Hariko who never grow nothing who just love to make the wars i see and of course here we have i draw our neighbors and here it's that's this, your neighbor uh, is it that's russia yeah this russia and this is a very peaceful green i see people. So the, the the green peas they're the ukrainians are they no the green peas it's uh, the soldiers of oh, russia the who russian take soldiers. eight years ago uh, crimea and uh, come to donetsk and uh, so when the war starts uh, we have also mushrooms here. Who are the, who are the mushrooms? The mushroom is Ukrainians, uh, and um, so we show different type of mushrooms in different ways of uh, reaction on the world. We're very much running out of time, but just before yeah. I let you go, I want to ask you, what is your message to people out there watching this who may perhaps think, I want to help the Ukrainian people, what can I do? What would you say to them? Uh, absolutely, there is um, a lot. Um, now, first of all, that uh, we need, uh, people need, the world need uh, the meetings. It's what we all the time try to organize here, every, almost every day in Paris, in Bordeaux. Uh, we make meeting in London also, in Berlin. Go out in the streets. And, yeah, people need to show positions that nobody wants the war. And um, Ukraine, now it's not only the problem of Ukraine, this war, it's um, the, the, the problem of democracy. And uh, if, uh, if one country can just like that in the night, at four o'clock in the night, mm. 
when everybody really sleep um, attack, so nobody is safe, you know. And Your now we speak about the nuclear button, so it's even... Yeah, lots of lots of alarming news coming out of Russia in the last few days. Nikita Kravtsov, thank you very much thank indeed you. for coming in and for talking to us yeah, today. Why not show that poster to us just post, finally? Uh, we'll... That we print uh, thanks uh, to the students and uh, uh, directory of uh, Bozar. Mm. Uh, we print uh, posters um, there. You can see there's Stop Putin there at the bottom. Yeah. All right, we'll leave you with those images. I want to thank you again very thank much you. indeed for coming in to talk thanks, to us. Thanks, uh, France, for your participation. For Thank for you very the... much indeed. We're going to leave it there. Thanks to you for watching France 24. It's time for a short break. There'll be more news here very shortly.